Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve handshake domains. And that's just a fancy way of saying how to get to a handshake domain, how to actually access a handshake website. So I've set up linkedin.johnnywu to redirect to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, but you'll see that it doesn't properly resolve to anything. Uh, and that's because the .johnnywu domain extension lives on the handshake blockchain, uh, which browsers don't yet support. So while we're waiting for them to catch up, we have to first do something to tell our browsers how to actually get to the Handshake blockchain. And so in this video, I'll be showing you three ways of doing so. The first one I'd like to introduce is HNS.2, uh, the gateway to Handshake domains. And so using HNS.2, you can just immediately begin searching for Handshake names. But let's try LinkedIn.JohnnyWu again. And then boom, we're redirected to my LinkedIn page. Uh, of course, you don't have to go back and forth to HNS.2 every time you plan to visit a new Handshake site. Uh, you can also just type HNS.2 slash in the uh, prefix of any Handshake domain you want to visit, uh, and it will still work the same. So let's try home.johnnywu. Right, so the LinkedIn.johnnywu is just a redirect, um, but home.johnnywu is my actual website that lives on the Handshake domain, home.johnnywu, and you'll see that works as well. Uh, and then, of course, emoji domains are supported as well. Uh, so let's just try the handshake emoji, and you'll see that properly resolves too. So HNS.2 is my personal favorite way of resolving handshake domains, and that's just because it doesn't require any installation, any configuration, uh, and it just works on any browser or any device. Uh, however, if you find it a little tedious to type HNS.2 every single time you plan to search for a handshake domain, uh, you can download a Chrome extension to just skip that step. Um, that Chrome extension is called LinkFrame, and you can access LinkFrame by just searching the handshake domain link frame in HNS.2, and that will redirect you to uh, their extension in the Chrome Store. So you can give this a try. Yeah, no need to sync this with all my computers. Uh, and let's try searching LinkedIn.johnnywu again. Oh, and so when searching handshake domains, you need to add a trailing slash, and this is just to differentiate them from the traditional domains. Um, so linkedin.johnnywu slash should redirect to my LinkedIn profile. And it does. Great. Uh, and so let's test this with an emoji domain as well. So I'm going to search the handshake emoji domain again with the trailing slash. And we're good to go. Uh, if you aren't a uh, Chrome user, there is also a Firefox extension that you can download to do the same. Um, I won't get into it in this video, but you can uh, find that extension by visiting resolver.info. Uh, and the rest of the steps should be pretty clear. So before showing you this final method of resolving handshake domains, um, I've opened an incognito mode and I've also uninstalled LinkFrame uh, just in case. So searching linkedin.johnnywu with a trailing slash shouldn't resolve to anything, uh, and it does not. So this final method involves changing your DNS settings, and we'll be using uh, NextDNS to do so. So you can visit nextdns.io to get to the website. We'll try now for free. Uh, great. And so uh, my uh, computer is a Mac, so we'll be using this setup guide, but um, it should be pretty similar for the other devices, and it should be uh, pretty clear step-by-step uh, -step instructions. So uh, in this case, my network does support IPv6, but uh, IPv4 will also work, uh, and it should work for um, most devices as well. So uh, in order to change my DNS settings to these, I'm going to go into my system preferences, network, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. I'll go to Advanced, DNS, and here is where I'll add my IPv4 or IPv6 addresses. So in this case, it will be the IPv4 one. So let's copy this one over. And this one over. OK, apply. Great. So we should be connected to the next DNS. And we are, but it says for no configuration because we got to link our IP. So let's hit link to IP. All good. And so the final step in order to resolve handshake domain is to go to settings and hit that resolve handshake domain button. And now we should be resolving handshake domains. So let's try again LinkedIn.johnnywu one more time with the trailing slash. And we're resolving. Uh, we've been redirected to my homepage. Um, and then just in case, let us try the uh, handshake emoji one more time with the trailing slash and we're resolving as well. 
So I hope you all found this video useful, uh, although it is also my personal hope that one day this video becomes completely obsolete. Uh, because by then, browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari will all be supporting the Handshake blockchain and natively resolving Handshake domains. Uh, but until then, these were three stopgap solutions for resolving Handshake domains uh, with much more to come. Uh, as time progresses, it will only get easier to resolve these names. Uh, and on that note, if you'd like to stay the most up to date on the works and progresses regarding Handshake, if you want to get involved with learning more about Handshake, or if you want to help spread Handshake, which would make you a director of Handshake, uh, I'd like to invite you to join the Namer community where all of that happens. So you can access the Namer community by searching namer.nb, that's nb for name base, or community.nb. Um, these are handshake domains, so you may want to use hns.to for the search, uh, and that will bring you to our community. And just a fun fact, uh, the developers of hns.2, of Linkframe, and of Resolver are all community members. So we hope to see you in the community soon, uh, and until then, happy naming.